10 Signs That You're Nouveau Riche What's up, Luxes? Welcome to Playlux Media, your go-to source for all things luxury lifestyle, finance, and entrepreneurship. Today, we're going to be discussing 10 signs that you're nouveau riche. While it's easy to spot someone who's newly wealthy, it's important to note that there are differences between being nouveau riche and being a part of the established upper class. So let's dive in and see if you recognize any of these signs in yourself or others. Number one, flashy material possessions. The first sign that you're nouveau riche is that you tend to show off your wealth with flashy material possessions, such as luxury cars, designer clothes, and expensive watches. While the upper class may not be as flashy, they have their own ways of displaying their wealth. They invest in high quality, timeless pieces like fine art and antique furniture that will not only add value to their homes, but also grow in value over time. So if you ever notice a classic piece of furniture that looks like it's been around for years, it's probably an investment for the upper class rather than just a decoration. Number two, obsessed with brand names. Another sign is that you're obsessed with brand names. You want everyone to know that you can afford the most expensive and luxurious brands. From designer handbags to high-end fashion labels, you just have to have the latest and greatest. However, those in the upper class tend to prioritize quality over brand names and may even opt for more exclusive, lesser known brands. Number three overspending. Nouveau riche individuals tend to overspend in order to show off their newfound wealth. This can lead to a lavish lifestyle, but it's not always sustainable. In contrast, those in the upper class tend to be more financially responsible and may prioritize long-term financial stability over short-term displays of wealth. Number four, living beyond your means. Nouveau riche people often live beyond their means, thinking that their newfound wealth will never run out. However, it's important to be more mindful of your spending and to live within your means. Those in the upper class tend to have a more conservative approach to their finances, living within their means and investing wisely to build generational wealth. Number five, boasting about your wealth. Another sign that you're nouveau riche is that you tend to boast about your wealth. You might name drop luxury brands, expensive restaurants, or exotic vacations to show off your wealth. In contrast, those in the upper class tend to be more private about their wealth and may not feel the need to constantly prove themselves. Number six, insecurity. Nouveau riche individuals often have feelings of insecurity they might feel like they have something to prove, which can lead to overspending and showing off. In contrast, those in the upper class tend to be secure in their position and may not feel the need to constantly prove themselves. Number seven, craving social status. Nouveau riche individuals often crave social status and recognition. They might attend high-end events and network with wealthy individuals to boost their social status. In contrast, those in the upper class tend to value privacy and may not feel the need to constantly seek validation from others. Number eight, ignorance about investments. Nouveau riche people might not be knowledgeable about investing their wealth. Instead, they might spend it all on material possessions and miss out on opportunities to grow their wealth. Those in the upper class tend to be more financially literate and may have a well-diversified portfolio to protect and grow their wealth. Number nine, lack of financial planning. Another sign is a lack of financial planning. Nouveau riche individuals might not have a solid financial plan in place and can quickly lose their wealth. In contrast, those in the upper class tend to have a long-term financial plan in place including estate planning and investments to ensure their wealth is preserved for future generations. Number 10, disregard for others. One common sign that you might be nouveau riche is if you exhibit a disregard for others. 
While it's certainly enjoyable to revel in your wealth and success, it's important to remember that money doesn't make you better than anyone else. Some nouveau riche individuals might act entitled or dismissive of people who don't share their lifestyle, which can lead to strained relationships and a negative reputation. In contrast, those who come from old money or the upper class tend to value humility and respect for others. They recognize that everyone has value and worth beyond their material possessions, and they strive to treat others with kindness and consideration, regardless of their wealth or social status. If you want to be viewed as a sophisticated and refined person, it's important to be mindful of how you treat others and to cultivate a sense of empathy and compassion. And there you have it, Luxes, 10 signs that you're nouveau riche. While there's nothing wrong with being newly wealthy, it's important to recognize the differences between being nouveau riche and being a part of the established upper class. By being mindful of your spending habits, focusing on long-term financial stability, and valuing humility and respect for others, you can build a sustainable and fulfilling life of luxury. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.